Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Lisa. Good evening. Okay, guys. Well, hello, and thank you so much once again for being on time. It's another week, something new to learn this week. And well, I hope every one of you had a nice weekend, and it's really nice to see you once again. As I said, thank you so much for being here because this is part of your learning process and it's part of your responsibility. Thank you very much for that. So I hope every one of you is with a, with a good health as well, because you know the viruses around us are still there. So, but it's really nice to know that you're there. So guys, um, I also want to thank to those people who sent the homework. Some of you still did not send the homework. I really don't know why, but I have received some of you and I'm really proud of your work. I know that it sometimes is a little bit difficult because some of you are working during the day. And well, I know that you have a lot of things to do. Some of you probably don't, but the majority of you, I understand that, that you work probably during the day. And I completely understand that. I just wanna say thank you for putting off your effort to do your homework and always be responsible for that, okay? That's something amazing from your part. So I hope you keep doing the same thing uh, throughout this module, because I understand that, well, as I said, as some of you are working, but I do really appreciate what you have done, okay? So before we start with today's topic, guys, I want to ask you some questions regarding to the topic we saw last week specifically on Thursday last week. So I will choose someone randomly. Let me see, uh, Stella. Hello, Hi. Stella. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Okay, very and good. You? I'm very good, thank you so much for asking. So let me ask you a question, Stella. What do we do when we have, when we use the simple present in third person, what do we do? Simple present. Uh huh. Hi. 
was it? Mm. Okay, let's see. Tatiana played test. What can you tell me about simple present when we use it in the third person? What do we do? Mm, when we use the, the simple present, mm. uh, in the final the word, uh -huh. at the S okay. or the ruler, uh -huh. the simple present. Okay. Of okay. The simple present. Very good. Okay, guys, I will give you as a practice right now, I will give you one verb and according to the rules that you already know, because we saw that last week, as I said, specifically on Thursday, you will have to make a sentence right now and you will have to send it through the chat of this call. I'm not saying WhatsApp group, I'm saying the chat that we have on this call, okay? So the verb that you have right now is the verb play. You will use the personal pronoun she and you have to make a, a sentence right now. So you have one minute to do that and I will be checking the chat here in the call. Did you understand what I said, guys? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, uh, can you explain again, please? Okay, so I will give you one verb right now. You will have to make one sentence right now and send it through the chat we have here in this call. Okay, I will give you the verb play and you will have to use the personal pronoun she make a, a sentence right now according to what we saw last week using simple press okay are you ready to receive okay, Alejandra? Teacher. Okay. okay teacher thanks very good thank you so much Alejandra Cristina I already received yours Rodrigo okay Thank you very much. Adriana. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline, why the question mark? ¿Por qué el signo de pregunta, Jacqueline? Are you not sure? Okay, sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just asking, it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Claudira Eta, Tatiana. Okay, thank you very much, Tatiana. You use a different verb, but that's okay. Okay, okay, Lisa. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Stella. Okay, very good. So I think, uh, well, most of you already sent me your example. I'm just missing, like some of you still missing. I already received Alejandra, Rodrigo, Adriana, Jacqueline, Claudia, Tatiana, Lisette Montoya, Stephanie Figueroa, Jenny Sanchez, Claudia Lisette, Alba Saavedra, Estela Lara, Rufino Amilcar, Cecilia Melgar, Maria Veronica, okay, and Brenda Villeda. Okay, Maria Veronica, we have, a, we have a situation over there, okay? I can see that you said my child played the guitar. Okay, according to the rules that we saw last week, remember that when you use the third person, you have to modify the verb, okay? All right, so okay. let me ask you a question in general. What happens if the verb ends in SH? When a verb ends in SH, what do I do, guys? Uh, I'll, yes. 
add es. Can someone give me an example of one of those verbs? Wash, washes. No. Just wash, like wash. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. okay, very good. Wash, washes, another verb. Finish, finish. I'm sorry, say that again. Finish, finish. Finish, finishes. Thank finishes. you very much. Let me see, Adriana. Go ahead. Catch. Catch. Um, sería catch. Do you, do catch you de atrapar. Catch catches, okay? Thank you very much. Very good. So I think that we're kind of clear with that. It's, well, it's really cool. So um, once again, guys, I told you last time, if you cannot make the exercises, please let me know. But some of you are not doing the exercises. I really don't understand why. But if you cannot do them, let me know. So I know that you won't be able to do them, okay? But please try to be responsible because that's part of your responsibility. Remember that you are going to the next level that, that is intermediate. And I mean, obviously you have to be responsible. So let me show you these exercises that we had, you're supposed to complete. And I will need uh, Carlos Dubon to help me with um, number four, please. Hello. Is he there actually? Yeah, I saw him. Well, I think he's not there. Okay, Norma Marbelli, go ahead. Okay. Four, verdad? Right? Number four, yeah. Okay. Is Tom works every day. Tom works every day. Thank you very much. Let me see, Stephanie Priscilla, go ahead with number six. Can no you siento, see it? Eh, no siento, no sé cuál es. Number, number six. Yeah. Okay, Alejandra Cristina, go ahead, please. Number seven? No, number six. Okay. She never helps me with that. She never helps me with that. Thank you very much. Let me see. Uh, well, I see some people want to participate. Let me see. Just Okay, I see Adriana. Okay, can you help me, Adriana, with number nine? Hello. Hola. Can you help can you me? me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you help me with number nine? Dice, Linda takes, takes care of her sister. Thank you very much. And the last one, Claudia Lisette, go ahead and help me with number 10, please. Number 10. Yes. John Radley lives the country. John rarely lives lives the country. Okay. All right, guys. So let's start with today's topic. Once again, guys, if there's something that you don't understand or you want me to explain you once again, feel free to ask. Okay. If you have any doubt, any comment, or something that you would like to add to the class. Just say it, okay? And we're going to try to figure that out, okay? So for today's class, guys, we're going to learn a little bit about vocabulary. Probably vocabulary that some of you already know or probably some of you knew and you already forgot it. Today, we're going to learn, guys, about time expressions. All right, because some of you, 
Some of you already forgot to, to, to say the time. Algunos de ustedes no saben ni cómo decir las ocho y cuarto, something like that. All right, so we're going to learn that today, the different, uh, the different things that we can learn about a clock and different expressions that we can learn, different type of questions that someone can ask you uh, when it comes to the time, okay? So we're going to start by that. And we have uh, uh, asking for the time. So I will need someone's help. Cecilia Melgar, go ahead. Help me with this part, please. Uh, the common question forms we use to ask for the time right now are, what time is it? Um, what is the time? Okay, these two questions, guys, that we have right here are the most common ones that everyone who speaks English is going to ask you. Those are like, uh, if you're walking by some place, let's say at a park or in, and you find someone who speaks English and this person wants to know what about the time, those two questions are the main ones that they are going to ask you. Example, what time is it? What is the time? What time is it? What is the time? So those are the two most common questions that we have when it comes to the time. So someone else can help me reading part number two. I can help you. Okay, who is, who are you? Jenny? Veronica. Oh, Veronica. Yo, okay. Veronica. Okay, Veronica, go ahead. A more, uh, a more polite way to ask for, for the time, mm -hmm. especially from a stranger is, could you tell me could you tell me the time, please? Okay, it says a more polite way to ask for the time when you don't know that person. Example, you go to the university and you want to ask someone the time, but you don't know that person. You can say in a very polite way, you can say, could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time? This is a very professional question. For example, if you're talking with someone from the government and you want to ask for the time, you could politely say, could you tell me the time, please? Because that will make you sound very professional, okay? So number three, who wants to help me with number three? Nobody wants to help me. Me, teacher. Who is me? Uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. The common question form we used to ask at what time a specific event will happen are. What time? When? What time does the film to New York leave? Mm -hmm. When does the bus arrive from London? Mm -hmm. When does the concert begin? Okay, thank you very much. So we have actually two WH questions that we can use when it comes to the time and when we want to know about a specific event that we are attending to or that we're going to. Example, we can use what time and then we can mention the event or we can say when and we can mention the event as well. And those two questions, WH question actually are going to help us to understand when this event is having a uh, place. Examples, we have three examples right there. What time does the flight to New York leave? As you can see, we're asking to someone because we want to know about this specific event, in this case, the flight to New York. Number two, when does the bus arrive from London? The event that, we weren't, that we're trying to know is, the bus, right? When does the bus arrive? That's what we want to know. And the last one, when does the concert begin? When does the concert begin? So in those two WH questions are very important for you to uh, ask when you want to know about the time. Any questions so far, guys? 
No, teacher, thanks. All right, so let's move on then. So, we have two ways of telling the time. I will need someone else help to help me reading number one. Jenny Sanchez, go ahead with number one, please. Say the hour first and then the minute, minute, minutes. The minutes. Minutes. Hour plus minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 6.25. It's 8.05. Mm -hmm. This O is said like the letter O. Mm -hmm. It's 9.11. It's 2.34. Okay, thank you very much. This one, guys, the, uh, the number one is the easiest one, is the one that we use even in Spanish. In Spanish, we say, uh, say 25, say CDS, something like that. So when we say, for example, in the first one, we have uh, 625, we can say it's 625 easily. In number two, uh, normally, guys, Americans, how do we say zero in English? Zero. 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 Oh. Oh. Zero. Oh. zero. We can say zero when, uh, when, we're, when we're saying the numbers, of course. But Americans, guys, they love to use the letter O for saying the, uh, the number zero. So if at any time you're talking with someone in English and you listen to, to that person saying, oh, instead of saying zero, that's perfectly correct, okay? As you can see in example number two, it says, it's 8.05, it's 8.05. I could say it's 8.05, could I say that? Yes, I can, because we can use both, but keep in mind that Americans love to use the letter O instead of saying the, the number zero. So number three, it's 911. And number four, it's 234. Okay, that's the easiest way. So we do not complicate that much. But in number two, it's kind of, you have to know a little bit. So we're going to, to see. Uh, who wants to help me reading number two? No se peleen, verdad? I just want one. Okay, let me see. I have Adriana. Go ahead, Adriana. Uh, say the minutes first and then the hour. Mm -hmm. Minutes plus past. Uh, la pecatino. Flash. La flash. Flash. Slash. To, a slash. Two plus hour. Mm -hmm. uh, for minutes and one in theory, mm -hmm. we use pass after the minute. Mm -hmm. For minutes uh, theory one and 59, we use two after the minute. Uh, two theory five is 25 to three. And 11, 20 is 20 past 11. Mm -hmm. And 4, uh, 18 is 18 past 4. Mm -hmm. And 8 and 51 is 9 to 9. And 2, uh, 59 is 1 to 3. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is not what we saw in number one. This one is kind of complicated. Not actually complicated, but sometimes kind of difficult to get used to. But as long as you practice it, you will get used to that really fast. So as you can see, it says that from minute number one to minute 30, we're going to use past. From minute 31 to minute 59, we're going to use two. Example. Number one, 235. I could say it's 235, right? As in example number one. But now in this example number two, ya sabemos que después del minuto 31, vamos a utilizar what? 
two, right? So I, I'm going to say it's 25 to three. Como que estuvieran diciendo, son 25 a las tres. Okay? So example number two, 1120. I can say it's 20 past 11. It's the same as, in, as if I'm saying son 20 minutos pasada las 11. Okay? Example number three, it's 18 past four. Number four, it's nine to nine. And number five, it's one to three. Is that clear guys? Or is there any questions so far? Yes, it's clear. Teacher, please. Uh, I, uh -huh. don't, I don't understand. Um, in the first example, um, say 234. And the second example, 25, 2, 3. Okay, okay. I will explain you right now. Okay, in the example number one, lo único que hacemos, guys, es mencionamos hora y minuto. Simple, no nos complicamos. We just say, las dos, 34. That's it. But in example number two, from minutes one, desde el minuto uno al 30, usamos past, y desde el minuto 31 al 59, usamos two. How do we use that? ¿Cómo lo usamos? Aquí es diferente. Aquí primero vamos a decir minutos. Luego, dependiendo a los minutos, vamos a utilizar pass or to. Y hasta de último, la hora. For, that's why we have in the first example, 2.34. Yo podría decir como en el ejemplo 1. It's 2.35. Simple as that. But no, we have to learn both ways. Tenemos que aprender las dos formas. Ok. So, using number two, example number two, I have to say it's, porque ya son 35, oh, that's my, that's my, that's, well, actually that's bad right there because it should say 35 instead of 25. Debería de estar el 25 ahí el no el 35 because it says 25. But I could say it's 35, Son 35 minutos para las tres. La diferencia en el, en el segundo es que a partir del, num, del minuto 31, chicos, vamos a mencionar la hora al final, la hora próxima, no la hora en que estamos. I don't know if you understand me. Por ejemplo, ahí tenemos 2.35. La hora que se aproxima es las tres. Entonces, al final vamos a mencionar el número tres, no el dos. Even though, aunque ahí sean las 2.35. Sí, porque estamos diciendo son 35 minutos a las 3. Que es lo mismo que decir las 2.35. Are we clear? Yes. Son 25 para las 3. Yeah, yeah. 25 para las 3. Mm -hmm. Is it clear now, guys? So, so. Why so, so, he said. You still have any doubt or something? Teacher, en, entonces ambos casos son correctos. Yeah. In the, in the, desde el minuto 1 al 30, en ese caso, sí va, vamos a utilizar la hora en la que estamos. If you can see example number two, si pueden ver en el ejemplo número 2, Dice, it's 20 past 11. ¿Por qué ahí sí mencionamos la hora en la que estamos? Porque solo estamos diciendo que han pasado 20 minutos de las 11. It's 20 past 11. A partir del minuto 31 en adelante, la hora que vamos a mencionar al final es la hora que viene, no en la que estamos. ¿Ok? Ok. Okay, is there any questions so far? Or so far so good? Exercise. Okay, okay, cool. So we're going to do some exercises later on. So if there's no questions, I'm going to move on. So we can have uh, some other examples. 
Okay, so um, probably guys, some of you, alguna vez hemos visto que dice AM and PM. Quizás no sabíamos lo que significa, but today we're going to learn. So AM means after midnight and PM means past morning. Okay, so um, this is just the parts of the clock. What we call these things, the hands of the clock. Las manos del reloj. They are hands of the clock. The whole circle thing, we call it obviously a clock, un reloj. But when we say a clock, guys, we are referring to this type of clock that you can put in a wall, at the top of a wall. Sí, El, los únicos los que ponemos en la pared. But if we have uh, something that we can use here, we say it is wrist watch, or we can only say watch, see? We do not have to get confused on that. A clock, un re, a clock va a ser algo solo de los que pegamos en la pared, right? But a wrist watch or solo watch va a ser el que usamos in your hands, yeah? That's why it says wrist watch or watch, okay? So okay. let's move on. Let's see. So here we have more detail. Sí, aquí tenemos ya un poco más explicado lo que allá estaba en letras. So, as you can see here, we are going to use past from this to this. And from this to that, we're going to use two. Normally say, um, well, when it's, uh, let me see. Estela Lara, how would you say uh, ocho y quince? Eight. Mm. Remem Remember that to in order to say the time, we have to use the personal pronoun it plus the verb. Oh. It. Ocho me dicho, ¿verdad? Ocho y quince. It's a... It's no. eight fifteen. Yeah, that's correct. Let me see. Luis Enrique, using uh, the the part number two that we just saw uh, so minutes ago, how would you say ocho y quince? Using a different thing that Stella said. It's it a quarter past to eight o'clock. Okay, it's a quarter past to eight. Yeah, we can say it's a quarter past eight, but do no puedes decir o'clock because o'clock we are only going to use it cuando estamos cuando nosotros decimos en punto. And because okay. here we already say it a quarter, we cannot say it a quarter. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, any questions so far, guys? No. Another thing, guys, that I nope. wanted to tell you is that, for example, when it's twelve, las doce del mediodía, Americans normally say it's noon. Or when it's at 12 p.m., they normally say it's midnight, okay? Noon, when it's on the half of the day, and midnight, when it's uh, like, uh, like 12 p.m., something like that, okay? So if there is no questions, guys. Uh, sir, excuse me, uh, midnight mm -hmm. or midday? midday. No. No, midnight. It's medianoche. Midnight. midnight. Oh, okay. You can say it's midday, mes mediodía, but normally they are going to tell you it's noon. See, ¿Sí? es lo mismo, mediodía. All right. 
So let's move on, guys. And here we have some more examples. As you can see there, what time? What's the time? Or what time is it? It's five past two. Example number two. What's the time? It's four o'clock. Since we have, we can see right here, o'clock. What's the time? It's 20 past five. And we have some other examples right here. What's the time? It's half, half past nine. In this case, guys, we're using half because Esther, the word half, do you know what the word half means? Thirty. Yeah, thirty minutes. Yeah, uh, in this case, we're saying, "Son treinta minutos pasada las nueve." We can say it's half past nine, or we can say it's thirty past nine or two nine. Question. Guys, are you still there? Todos están ahí, right? Emma, I think sometimes I feel that I'm talking yes. to myself. But I'm just talking to myself. Okay. In this example it's right here, what's the time? Nine. It's 25 to 11. So this is just examples of what we just saw before. So let's move on. All right. It's correct. And 34, 10. 34, say that again. 34, 10, after exercise. 34, 10. It's half, half, no, it's half past nine. Uh-huh. And 34, 10, it's 34, 10. No, we cannot, no. we cannot say that porque recuérdate que a partir hasta el 30 usamos past, hasta el minuto 30. Del minuto 31 para allá usamos to. So okay. we, we cannot use that. So let me see. Todos, I need you to make these exercises right now and send me the, um, the answers through the chat. Todos, you have one minute. Las respuestas en el chat, guys. Please, do it now. I will be waiting for you. You just have one minute to do that. You can see the time, can you? Hello? Can you see it, guys? Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, hello. Uh, you need we write the answer by the chat. Yeah, of course. The answer okay. by the chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Five past the twelve. Fifteen to four, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm checking some of your answers right now. Very good. Let's see. Yeah.
Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. I can still see some people sending answers. Okay, very good. I know it's kind of complicated when you have your phone, uh, the keyboard of your phone in Spanish. And when you try to write something, automatically write it in Spanish. Okay, let me see. Hello. Mm -hmm. Gosh. <laughs> oh my you God. Me the yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> That's why you have to put your keyboard in English when you have the English class. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pero yeah. All right. So I see the majority of you already sent the answers. Thank you very much for participating, guys. I see that we still have to work on that because some of you, for example, I saw that someone said it's 10 to three. Okay, in this one, number four. Okay, I still see some people texting. All right, it's one o'clock, all right. Okay, guys, so let's see. We're going to make this like one by one, I will need Rufino. Can you please tell me what time is it in clock number one? It is one o'clock. It is one o'clock, thank you very much. Let me see, Veronica de Martinez. Can you tell me what time is it in this clock number two? It's it's uh, 10 past 12. It's 10 past 12. Thank you very much. Let me see. Um, no, let me see. Claudia Iraeta, can you tell me what time is it in clock number three? It's 20 minutes to six. It's 20 minutes to six. Thank you very much. And Cecilia Melgar, can you tell me what time is it in clock number four? Okay, teacher, uh, wait me. Mm -hmm. Wait for me. Excellent, okay. Mm -hmm. Ok, me tardé porque solo había hecho las, las dos primeras. It's ok. Um, ok, um, it's 10 minutes to 3 o'clock. Um, are you sure? I don't know. Can someone help me? In clock it's number 10 to 3 o'clock. Ajá. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Can, Thank so, you. can someone else? It's me? 10 to 3. It's 10 to 3. It's 10 to 4. Pass. Uh huh. It's what time do you think it is? Like it's 10 to 4. It's, it's 10 to 4. 10 para las 4? Is that what you mean? Yes. 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 Okay. ¿Cuál es esta? Number four, this one, number four. It's 10 to three. It is actually guys, 10 to three. 
es en este caso es 10 a las 3, porque si fuera 10 a las 4, este estaría más abajo. Ok, ah. so you gotta be okay. careful with that. But thank you very much. So thank you guys. I see that some of you, well, the majority of you put your answers on the chat. I really appreciate that because now all of you are participating. So let's move on. And uh, here we come with the practice, guys. So today, guys, we're going to have conversations because I want everyone to speak. Because most of you are not speaking in English. You are speaking in Spanish. So I decided to make you speak by force. Por la fuerza lo vamos a hacer hablar, ¿verdad? Or, or you speak English or speak English, okay? So we have these conversations and we're going to go to the breakout rooms and I need you to practice these conversations. It means if you are six in the group or if you are four in the group, you will decide who will start first. Two by two, dos personas por dos personas. And then if you're not able, si no, son, si no terminan los demás ejercicios, that's going to be a homework. But I need you to speak in English, okay? So two by two, and then another two, and then another two until you all practice. Am I, am, am I clear? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. So, Okay, so take a screenshot right now, a picture of this one, and you let me know so I can move to the next one. Can I move? Yes, please. All right, so here we have. Okay. okay, so this is the other one that we have, just in case the time, uh, we don't have enough time, you will have to make these exercises for tomorrow, only if we do not have time, okay? Okay. But if you want, I can send you the, the presentation at the end of the class so you can have them in your phone or in your computer and you can do that throughout the day. And um, because I think that you talking and talking is going to take you more than 15 minutes. Okay, so I will stop sharing here and I will send you that presentation after the class. Did everyone understand what I said? Yeah. Okay. So, Go ahead, please, and join your groups. Everyone, you will decide. You will decide who goes first. Teacher, páseme otra vez la solicitud que le di. Creo que no entré. Mm. Ok, let me see. So in that case, I will have to move you to another one. Ok, there we go. That's the other, the other, the other, see, same. Uh, do you understand me? 
We are we are a person here. So who's going to I, start the conversation? Uh, I uh, see. I grande. I start the conversation. Un moment. Un moment. Yeah. I be. What else? I don't know. Uh, in, in, in a moment. I am Jane. Who is I Dave? see big. I see big the picture. Uh, the field is uh, very, very little, very little. Uh, this, this is correct. This is big. This is big. How many uh, are we? This is big. This is big. The, the picture is big. I will be Samantha. Uh, hi, who will be Tony? Jenny. Be Tony? Okay, go ahead, Jenny. please. Okay, go ahead, okay, please. Okay, Jenny, start. <clears throat> what time is now? Time is midnight. Okay, please wake me up at six o'clock. Whoa, why would you make, make no, why? Would you wake up so early? I have a meeting to. Samantha. Samantha. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. It's what, time, what time is it now? Uh, it's midnight. Okay. Please. Wake, wake me up at six o'clock. Why? Uh, wow. Why will you wake up so early? I have a meeting tomorrow morning. What time is your meeting? My meeting is at nine o'clock. Well, why are you waking up so early? The meeting is at box office it is an hour at a half from here what time is it in 7 10. i'm going to be late for my meeting why why didn't you set the alarm i did but you didn't wake up hurry up no you will have to drive fast Okay. Very nice, guys. Uh, what about the other I ones? Think, yeah. I'm the next one to be my partner. I'm going to be Jay. I'm going to be David. Hi. Guys, what about the other ones? I don't see Claudia, Christian, Carlos Dubon. What's going on with you? Aren't you participating? I participated. Oh, you already did it? The first conversation. Okay, very good. What about Carlos and Christian? Are you guys there? Are they participating? <laughs> Mark the item on the right to the item on the left. Okay, guys, please, everyone, try to participate, okay? Be right back. King Mas? Elsie? Elsie? Okay, okay. okay. What time is it where we are going to like for the party? Eh, yo contesto lo que de David, ¿verdad? It yes. uh, yes. where is past six. We are oh, one time. Don't worry, we will be fine. But I thrown we have to be 
at Tara House by Dick Terry for her surprise birthday party. I think never make it as there is a lot of brunch or traffic this evening. Today we will we are not far away. No, anyway, the party, the party. Her surprise birthday party. I think never make it as there is a lot of rush. Our, our traffic this evening sure we will we are not far away now anyway the party start at seven but i do need her with where to park the car so sarah doesn't it can you phone her husband and ask him where is the best to park our car okay i will phone him now Thanks. Okay. The other exercise. The other, okay. Is everyone participating? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Oh, all right, very good. Her surprise birthday party. Um, I think never make it as there is a lot of rush hour traffic <laughs> this evening. Um, me per I lost. Vas en la en la segunda de Debbie vas en la penúltima. Okay, excuse me. Okay, sure we will. We are at for a way now. Anyway, the party starts seven o'clock, but I do need help me help with where to park the car. So Sarah doesn't it can do phone her husband and ask and ask ask him where is the best to park our car. Okay, I I will I will for him now. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Who's the one? Let's read. Okay. Yeah, me. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Demolish. Okay. What time is it? We are going to be late for the party. It's a quarter past six. We are on time. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Twenty five. Twenty five. La última o cuál? La primera. The first one está. Okay. Tendría que aparecer así como twenty twenty five porque son las cuatro y cuarenta entonces faltan veinte minutos para que sean las cinco sería la ocho de la, de la derecha de, de arriba hacia abajo
Well, okay, guys. I was checking some of you in your groups. And uh, well, let me let me share. Let me see. Let me try to share the screen. Let me see. Okay, here we have. Okay. So and I was checking that some of you do not respect the punctuation. I know that probably in your phones, you're not able to see like the periods, the comas and things like that. So for example, in this part, this part like right here, it says, for example, so Sarah does send it, can you phone her husband? Or for example, in parts like this one, like we say it like literally, like in Spanish, we say, whoa, whoa. But guys, in English, we have to be kind of exaggerated. Tenemos que ser a veces un poco exagerados y es como que, because we're not used to that, no estamos acostumbrados a eso. Solo lo leemos porque vemos wow, decimos wow. But in English, we do not say that, we say wow. Yeah, that's English, guys. I understand, entiendo que, que hay veces es como que, ay, por qué, verdad? But that's how we speak English, guys. So you will have to try to do those things and remember intonation when you make a question. For example, I heard, Escuché a alguien por ahí que dijo, whoa, why will you wake up so early? That's not a question, guys. Remember intonation. What if you say, wow, why will you wake up so early? It's different. Even the intonation, it's a little bit different. Yes? So we have to, to try to empezar a practicar eso, chicos, because we're going to another level. Estamos, vamos para otro nivel, so we have to try to practice that and try to speak as best English as possible, okay? El mejor inglés que podamos, okay? So I know that that might be like, por qué, verdad, hay que exagerarlo, but in English, sometimes we have to be a little bit exaggerated and to try to make those accents that probably sounds weird to you or that you are not used to that, but those are very important. So um, I will send you the presentation after the class, so you can work on the exercises that we couldn't do. Uh, thank you so much guys for attending to the class. I hope every one of you participated in the conversations we had. And well, thank you very much for that. That's all for today, guys. See you tomorrow, the same time by the same channel, okay? See you so tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. I'll give her the class.